What's going on guys? We're going to take a look at GameStop ticker symbol GME. So yesterday was a fantastic day, broke out of a little bit of a range here, provided a great opportunity for a day trade. I'm going to kind of outline that and show you, uh, you know, what was the level that you should have been looking at here on GameStop. So what I'm looking at first here, daily time frame. Okay. So each individual candlestick is going to represent one day's worth of price action. I understand my chart looks very, very messy, but it's the way that I trade. It's the way that I, I understand how to use technical analysis. It's the way that provides the best, you know, trading experience for me, understanding where potentially these stocks can go and where potentially they might find some support. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning how I trade, definitely check out all the information down below. But with that being said here, uh, what I was looking at is one, two, three days worth of consolidation here. If we kind of just look at, you know, the 200 EMA as well as this Bollinger Band that's kind of being trapped right here, as well as the 150 day simple moving average. Let me just kind of blow this up a little bit so we can see this better and make this like this. So if we just go really realistically all the way back to May 25th, we had a big extended move higher, big extended move higher. And then we kind of got trapped, right? So when we pulled back, we pulled all the way back to this purple line here. So for me, the purple line is the 20 SMA. The 20 day moving average is very, very important. I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a secret here. The 20 SMA, the 50 SMA, and the 200 day moving average are gonna be your most significant levels that you're gonna to want to kind of watch. Everything else in between, you're kind of just, you know, you understand that it's there, realize that it's there, but just kind of track the bigger moving averages. So as we pulled into this 20 day moving average, we got an aggressive bounce higher where we consolidated for one, two days. Okay, so what I would be looking at here is the top close in this whole formation. Now there's a sneaky area here where you can see this top wick of 138.02 to this top wick going back here to 526 of 148 is a 10 point move. So that's definitely enough room for us to catch a trade on a 10 point move. So what I would have been telling myself yesterday, if you're a, a GameStop a trader and you watch GameStop actively, is that when and if we get over this wick here and clear out the 150 day simple moving average, which was sitting at a price of 139, I'm going to get long. Now, where would you think about selling? At the next area of supply. Guys, I know a lot of you guys like to just get into trades because you know they look good and they're going up and then you guys, you have no idea where to sell. You're holding this thing three, four weeks later, two, three days later, and it's like, oh my God, what happened? Everything just kind of came in. You got to understand the technicals. Why did it stop there? You know, what, what does it need to do before it can go higher? So, this price here, as soon as GameStop could get over that 139.50, which it did yesterday, which was the 7th of June, that's when we got this explosive move higher. So with that being said, we got that explosive move higher. We got to push into the 200 day moving average, guys, 151.30. We got that push into that 150, 151 area. And then it also correlated with May the 26th. We began, we began to sell off. So one thing that I was kind of looking at here, GameStop does look good to go test higher prices, but what needs to happen? First things first, GameStop needs to close over the 200 day moving average, which is sitting at a current price of 151.32. As soon as we close over 130 or over 151.32, we've got room to play. Okay, we've got room to play. Then we would be looking at some of these prior channels going all the way back here, okay, to this last run up that we had in March. And we would be looking at a price target of maybe 168. And then we would be looking at 175. And then we would be looking at 199, 200. So these are the areas. Now, if GameStop is not going to break out, because you can see we literally tagged the supply zone, are doing nothing more than back testing the rising five day moving average. The five day moving average is your most nearest, closest short term sentiment. Whoever controls the five day moving average controls the price of the stock for the next day. If the bulls can control this five day moving average here, maybe we get a bounce. But even if we get a bounce, this area here between 136 and let's say 149 is going to be extremely choppy. The big macro trade we're looking for is to get over this 200 day moving average. 150, 132, we want to get long. Okay, 151.32, we need to get long. 
Anything below 129 is a short position into 122, and any loss of 120 definitely has room down to 106. Those are the levels. Make sure you guys keep an eye on them. Make sure you respect technical analysis. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more information on what I do, all that information is down in the description box below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.